Hello everyone, this is Sean from Compass Mods. Today I'm going to be showing you a small tutorial using the command line in OS X, which is a small program called Terminal. Uh, in order to close programs that the computer usually would not let you close. So we're going to start off with a small analogy over here. Uh, let's say that you're using your computer in everyday fashion, nothing out of the ordinary, and a program for one reason or another decides that it doesn't want to close by either using the command Q shortcut or file close or the little red X in the corner. For whatever reason, the program does not want to close. There is a way around it by using a program that comes pre-built into OS X called the terminal. Now, what the terminal basically is, is a small program that is completely text-based. It's a window that's literally just a text box window that allows you to type in commands to the computer. What commands are, are a series of instructions, uh, words or phrases or even symbols in some cases, that allow you to make the computer act in a certain way. So I'm going to show you a small example over here of a case where an application does not want to close. I'm going to go into my hard drive, to my applications folder, and we're going to use iTunes for example. I'm going to drag iTunes into the trash can, open the trash, and I'm going to hit empty the trash, and this is how you would usually delete a program in OS X. I'm going to hit empty trash, and it says the operation cannot be completed because the item iTunes helper is in use. Okay, you're not able to delete the program because this little program in the background called iTunes Helper is being used. And as you can see, if I open up my trash, iTunes is still there. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to hit Command Spacebar, which will open up Spotlight for us, and we're going to type in Terminal. And you're going to be greeted with a little window over here. As you see over here, I have my name, which shows who the user is of the computer, and this will obviously be different on your system, as will be some of this other text over here. So, a uh, quick thing to make sure when you first open up your terminal window is to make sure that you are some form of administrator and not just a guest on the computer. So a way to verify that is usually when you set up a computer, the administrator will be either your name, if you are the person who set up the computer, or a name such as administrator or root or something like that. So we're going to type in H, sorry, W-H-O-A-M-I, which spells who am I. I'm going to hit enter, and as you can see, I am the administrator user who's logged in over here. The next command that you're going to want to type in is three very simple letters, T-O-P, and you're going to see a lot of text that comes up when you execute this command. I'm just going to make this window a little bit bigger over here. What these numbers and what looks like utter gibberish at first sight represent are all the processes that are running in the background of the computer. So, going back to our iTunes example, what happened was is that when we tried to delete the iTunes application, the little program called iTunes Helper was obstructing it from being deleted. So, what we're going to do is we're going to look in this column, which is the second column over here, for the iTunes Helper. Because, once again, this window is showing you all of the running programs. So, I found it right over here, the iTunes Helper. And as you'll see, to the left of it are four, uh, four or five digits. Okay? These digits represent an ID tag of the application that's running. Now, what we're going to be using is a little command which is called the kill command, actually, which will allow us to use the terminal in order to kill this application over here so we'll be able to delete iTunes. But we cannot do it directly from this terminal window because right now this terminal window is running in a display mode, meaning that if we type in any text, nothing's going to happen because right now it's acting as a display to show you which applications are running. So a very simple way around that is we're just going to open a new window by hitting Command N. Okay? And as you can see, we have another terminal window which opened up. Once again, we'll just verify that we are still the administrator, although it would seem rare that we wouldn't be. And we're going to simply look at the ID number for the iTunes helper over here, which is 4812. And we're going to type in KILL 4812. And I'll watch what's going to happen to this iTunes helper uh, tag over here. When I kill it, it actually disappears. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quit out of my terminal application over here. And we're going to try to delete iTunes from the garbage again. And as you can see, it worked flawlessly. 
we were able to kill background applications by simply looking at which applications were running in the background and then using commands in order to close them. Now this can be used for many different uses. It can be used to eject drives, it can be used to kill other programs which are causing irregularities in the system, but in this specific application we're just looking at how to delete programs and their background applications. So this has been today's tutorial. There's lots more coming, so stay tuned.